uh, a few days ago in uh, Franklin County courtroom, um, a Franklin County uh, Sheriff's Office deputy who was knocked to the ground fired a single shot, killing a 16-year-old uh, young man named uh, Joseph Edward Haynes of Hilltop. Um, it's it's, a, it's 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 sad to talk about because basically um, it, there there was a scuffle, there was a fight between the two individuals, and one shot was fired, and it was a devastating shot to a young man. And just to put a little bit of context, yeah. um, this was he the officer had thrown his uh, I think his mother against a wall, yeah, and he basically like was like stop, and he grabbed the guy's shoulder, knocked him off balance, guy fell down, and decided you know what the price of this yeah. knocking him on the ground is death. Yeah, and so either his training kicked in, which is an issue, or he kicked in, which is an issue, and killed him. Please let me let me let me please put the faulty logic in that. Not not trying to put anything on you. I'm just saying of the report that we yeah. talked about. You're talking about if we go to court, America. I think we have a system, and this happened in Ohio. I'm yeah. very I'm very familiar with the with the system here, where you get shackled up. You put. You put into the restraints when you go into a courtroom or in front of the judge for the safety of the public. Now, how can you possibly grab your gun and shoot somebody when they're in restraints? There's nowhere in there saying that you're well, going. This, this, the kid wasn't in, uh, in this case. He was just a family member. Yeah. The, it was the mother. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say, the, yeah. I, I understand that. I, okay. I think anybody will, will defend their mother right. when, when she's being treated unfairly by any foreign man that you don't know who is right. not even related to anybody but has a has the right to approach a mother. So I understand where he's coming from, not defending. I'm just pointing out the logic that this person, that this deputy, that you're whatever many amount of years that you've been in this courtroom as a as a bailiff, you're gonna be you're gonna grab your gun when you have a when you already have the tools to be maintaining this person, you're already in control of the situation. And you have other people around you by firing a single shot, you you kill a sixteen year old boy. Remind you that that's a that's a boy. That's not a man. Yeah. He he wasn't posing a threat to him. I don't think so. Yeah, at, at least in regards to the officer, he uh, was discharged from the hospital. His injuries were uh, non-career ending, uh, but they couldn't give any more dis- uh, you know details about this. But it's it, it, his uh, the mother of the victim is saying that they they could have done something. They could have tased him. They could have yes. used something some form of non-lethal to instead of pulling out a gun right away to shoot and you would look i, I understand the training of a police officer or a sheriff it's it's very difficult it's it's a, it's it's a, a four week job. course six week course i i, I understand and I, we're talking I, about I, a bailiff uh, uh, too as well uh, i'm sorry I, kid I, I, i'm sorry i i understand i, understand. I just cannot stand it's, for this i cannot stand for for yeah. for for a 16 year old boy being shot and killed in front of something in front of a justice right in front of the the, the law Right, and, but, but but the one thing I want to mention though is that at least what 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 they should have done is at least instead of going for lethal, they should have gone for non lethal. Like they but I guess this God. training this this training isn't put in, or I, I I don't I don't know. But it's 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 really sad to think that this is once again happening. But here, here here's the thing: this is happening all across the country. This isn't just one random story. This is a story that's heard all the time. And thanks to independent social media like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and everyone else like, you know, talking about this, this is just another day in the United States and our and just the way our, our police are trained. Yeah, so I've said this before on, on another show. Um training for cops would dictate that you should kill a family of ten before you put yourself in five percent danger. And they're and again I look at what, what do you, what's the what do the European force uh, European police do? They have a national training academy. It's a four year college where you're trained to spot people with mental illness, dis, uh, break down a situation. There's almost no one gets shot anywhere in Western Europe by police. It's it's virtually unheard of, even in very dangerous circumstances where someone will have a huge knife or a, or in, in some cases a great sword. Uh, police will still be able to take them down safely without injuring them. Yet in the U.S., the reaction is kill them. Yeah, I have yeah. firearms training. I go to the gun range. This is my skill set. Now, my 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 big question that's going on in my mind here in Illinois with the ninety five million dollars that's being used to build that new police academy, uh, how long are those officers there going to be trained for? Is it going to be again four weeks? Four weeks only? Or I mean, because because the thing is, Daniel, when when you say that. Compared to our European allies, they have a four-year college course to become a police officer, whereas here in the United States, it's four weeks. It's, it's, it takes longer to become a hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> Please, let me pitch into that. 
That is ridiculous. Yeah. So, that like, is, like, so like, you, you have a license to kill in four weeks. So, so basically, like Lewis, uh, you know, I I understand where you're coming from. Yes. It's just like for me, it's just it's hard for me to really even see this happening again and again and again. You would think that the, that they would be more training after everything that's come why, out through the social would, media. But I I'm, I've been I'm just like shocked that there hasn't been any kind of real reaction by the police force. Why would there be? To, I, to right. reform. I mean, I mean, what what incentive do they have? If you know, if you if you're an officer and you kill someone that's unarmed and you have a settlement, who pays the settlement? The people in the yeah. town like where the guy got shot, not your officers. Your officers are trained to escalate situations, not de-escalate situations. Yeah. And we face have. zero consequences. And right. And so what? if you're a cop and you shoot someone, you get literally paid vacation. Yeah. So if, you're, if, you, if you're a cop and you, and you say, man, I've been working really hard. I'm a bit stressed. I want to go on vacation. Let me just kill someone. I'm sure. That, I'm not sure that, that that's a, the exact uh, may, maybe a thing that's gone through someone's head, but it's a thing that could go so, through someone's head, and they would get that result. And knowing the history, you know, we, we've covered a lot of police corruption and police brutality stories in the past. Look, I know there are some good police officers, but the way the system is set up, either one those good cops leave, or they stay silent, or they themselves become corrupt. I mean. Just just uh, some time ago, when we covered those fifteen men who got in- exonerated due to the fact that you had this squad of police officers putting uh, false charges on them or you know planting drugs on them, and it turns out that they were innocent. Those those, those fifteen men who were you know going to jail f- for a very long time were innocent of all the charges, and it was the cops that were doing this. So the thing is, who is going to hold our police forces accountable? Will it be our state officials? Will there any be anything be done at all at Washington D.C.? I mean. Something has to be done. There's going to be a breaking point that where people are going to demand some sort of change. And I think we have hit that. We have definitely. I don't, I don't think I we've th- hit there I just know, yet. I, I think we have. I think when you when you go around and around Chicago, I think we we hit that point where there the relationship is so severe that there's no coming back from it. You have so many organizations trying to reach out to people, and it's the same answer. It's the same political answer. Administrative. This is what I call administrative political answers. When you have rehearsed answers, when you have already an answer in front of you, when a person is talking to you, when you're talking to the media, or when you're talking to somebody else, just like when you talk, I mean, just an example. I was in fear of my life. <laughs> yes, there you go, exactly. So it's, it's funny and we laugh at it, but it's, we have hit that point where you go up to a cop and you go tell him, hey, you shouldn't be taking a nap there. He'll tell you, oh, don't, it's my job, you mind your business. Or don't interfere with my job. Oh, this is... I know. I, I've been trained. I've been trained. Have you been trained to be a police officer? When did you get your law degree? C- correct. And and sometimes when you cite the law, you have to have debate with these officers. And, and I myself have found in myself where I'm citing the law, specific citing the citation for the law, and it just gets disregarded. So it is where we have hit that point where we no longer believe in in the system, we need and we need an answer. We, you, you're right. So I think we have hit that point to where we need that answer now. It's yeah. more people being killed. People are still being shot by police, and now we're even getting people getting killed in the court. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> gotta, next thing you know, sorry. Yeah, we. I know we got to move on. I do want to say one thing before we move on. What cops sound like to me, at least, they sound like medieval town militias. <laughs> like I do what I want. You're you bloody peasant. Hard Lens Media.